Hi everybody, it's Jen. Um, sorry for all the noise, my dishwasher's running and it's not very quiet. But I am making a new soap um, with a new mold. It's all new. Um, I'm, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, I've had a couple of requests already. So I'm going to start doing custom um, soaps. And they're going to be in these, uh, I have a couple of these, in these, um, I think they're like one and a half pound um, loaves. We'll have to see how much it weighs once after I cut it. But I'm going to start offering custom soaps in these. You can either buy the whole thing uncut or um, I will cut it. And I think it does like four or five bars. So, I'm going to make, I'm hoping I've got the recipe. I want to have a little bit extra. That way I know uh, if I have way too much that I can back off um, on my measurements. So, we'll see how I do. But I've had a couple of requests and I have done uh, custom soaps. So, I just got that mold so I thought it would be really easy. So, this is just a test. And I have a fragrance from Brambleberry. It's called Shave and Haircut. Um, I didn't have a mold small enough for it to use it. I thought about getting rid of it, but I kept it. I've had it um, a couple months. So I'm going to use this batch for my picture and my Etsy site. But my husband probably will end up using this soap. just scaled down from five pounds to about a pound and a half. So in goes my lye water. I'm not straining it because it did all completely dissolve. Let's get up the water drops. custom soaps, um, you will get to be able to see me make it. Your own soap. Depending on how much it weighs, depends on the price. I'm thinking it'll be 20 to 25 dollars for the whole little loaf. I just think they're adorable. Let me get some colors. I forgot my colors. gradient soap. I think I'm going to try it. I hope this uh, scent behaves well. It smells really, really good. Mm. I'm 
I'm going to add a little bit of white. No, I don't think I'm going to yet. Yeah, I will. Alright, let me buzz that in. dark blue. to make that darker. There's a cup and a half in here. Let's get my little mold up here. Okay. Set that aside. blend that a little bit. Because I don't want it really thin. Because I don't want the layers to break through.
need a little bit more. If it's not perfect, it's okay. It's my first time. Pretty color. a cute mold. I'm adding more white. going to do really lighten it up add some blue to this white hey what right here. Okay. I can tell that I'm going to have to back my recipe off a few ounces. support this. My husband's going to make me a, um, a box, a little box to sit this in, but for now I'm just going to support it with something when I'm done. No biggie. just uh, mold what I have left over and I know to back my recipe off probably like four or five ounces I 
right, I'm gonna pause this, and when this sets up, uh, I'll come back and I'll do the top. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I have stuck this down in another mold and just stuck some books there to help me uh, keep it level or not bowed. Yeah. There's Mr. Noah. I wouldn't want it to be any fuller than this. So I'm going to weigh, see how much um, soap batter's left, and then I'll deduct that from my recipe. Whoa, Noah. But this, I'm done, is um, my first little malt custom soap that I'll be offering. Um, and it's in shave and a haircut. I'm not sure I'm going to sell it unless there's somebody asks for it. Um, then I will. Um, but yeah. You guys look forward to these um, little custom soaps. Uh, thanks for watching.